you've seen Sean Rouse on stage with greats like Dave Attell, Joe Rogan, and Margaret Cho. He's also headlined big clubs. Comedy store, Punch Sean Rouse. Rouse. Welcome to the Bob Rivers Show. Hello. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you, too. That That's an old introduction. Of, I don't know where... Did y'all pull that off my website or something? Well, I'm just wondering because we Margaret, didn't, I used you to, didn't tell us I, your website had expired. Again. Yeah, yeah, no, no. <laughs> yeah, if it's up, I don't know if it's running or not. You and Margaret Cho have a fallen out, did you? No, okay. no, no, not at all. But ever since she, what she, would you do for an introduction wear, today? She won't wear shoes on TV, yeah. uh, on, <laughs> on, on on stage, and it That's bothers strange. me. It's disgusting. But I'd uh, say what now? Um, what would your what should your website say if you were actually keeping it up? Oh. Uh. You might have seen him on the David Tell Insomniac tour, and eh, that's about it. All right, so we had <laughs> one to add. <laughs> add that's that's we should have it. stopped at David Tell. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. <laughs> well, so, I left Mitch Hedberg out because he's dead. But oh know, yeah, Hedberg was great. Worked with Hed- Hedberg. Yeah, I worked with him a few times. Yeah. yeah, good guy. Yeah, he was cool. Who knew? <laughs> God. <laughs> Anybody who talked to him? <laughs> oh, he did. Yeah, yeah. oh, he was man. definitely in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He didn't help him. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't hook me up. So, um, you're uh, now right now you're working on a reality show. Is that right? Yeah, I'm trying to get it going. Uh, it's not so much for me as for uh, it's for this country. It's just an it's just a um, an attempt to solve racism. And you you know, wow. I know you think a reality show. I think you can do it. Uh, What's me, the show called? Well, that's the punchline. It's myself in a house alone. With one woman from each race, the finest stock of every race, <laughs> sure, alone sure, sure. in a house. Sure, no, I'm following you. On the season debut, I impregnate all of them okay. in a huge Fox fantasy festive. Mm-hmm. For nine months, I hang out, cooking breakfast, nourishing the wombs, trying to convince each one of them that I love them the most. Uh, as soon as the first contraction starts, we induce everyone's labor. I deliver all of the children. Mm-hmm. As soon as the last baby hits the delivery room floor, I take off on a cocaine whiskey binge. Okay. 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 The first mother-child combo to find me uh-huh. wins free wins. college tuition. That's fantastic. Nice. And bragging rights for their race. Okay. Yeah. And, and the name of the show. The Amazing Races. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, uh, look for it. The amazing races. The amazing I races. Love yeah, gotcha. look for When's it. When's it on? I don't I'm think I'll have a problem this. getting it on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, fall. Now, uh, <laughs> uh, it's. Uh, I'm curious to know whether you are following the. Uh, I mean, it's everywhere. The the political uh, race uh, is going strong for the Democrats. Still, John McCain has it wrapped up. But between Hillary and Obama, it's. Uh, it's pretty. They've taken off the gloves. I mean, they're they're, yeah. they're duking it out with it's each other. What it comes do you have a favorite? Do you Normally, I vote, but only county elections. I don't like to only go. county elections. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I might Dog vote for McCain. Yeah. I might vote for McCain. I don't know, but that's just because I really believe in the Mayan Holocaust. <laughs> and I, if we're going to make it there, we don't have that much time. And if if we're going to make it there, I think we have to go with McCain. So. Now you're from Houston, which is Bush country. You were were you a yeah. fan of, of GW? Oh or? God, no, no. <laughs> no. no. Did you get the whole Mayan Holocaust joke? There's <laughs> underpinnings of him I, being a liberal. I got that. I got that. <laughs> I was in Houston the day that uh, the mission accomplished thing happened. When uh, you know he was on the aircraft carrier, he came in on the airplane, and oh, there was the up. big banner that said "Mission Accomplished." So the uh, Iraq War. Right. Was I was in the Houston airport, and some guy said, "I don't think it's over." See, everybody, yeah, mission accomplished. They weren't talking about the war. They got the pumps up and running again. So they <laughs> they had secured the fields, and the pumps were running. All flowing. That was mission accomplished. They weren't, yeah. But yeah, they loved it's, him down there at that time. Trying to win the war. <laughs> that wouldn't make much sense. Then we'd have to leave. Yeah. yeah. Well, that um, wouldn't help much. So, have you picked so uh, assuming the McCain thing was a joke, have you picked uh, between Hillary and Obama yet? I think if I yeah, I think I'd vote for Obama over Hillary. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. He I mean cuz he, he's very smooth. He seems genuine, which is, you know, <laughs> that's it's tough to do in politics. But um I think that's who I'd go for because you know he seems just he seems honest. I don't know. 
And because I think it'd be really cool to see someone assassinated live on TV. I think oh. that would be. <laughs> well, it's, it's the Pruder <laughs> film's getting a little old. It is. It is. You know, it's you, kinda, I know the ending. Yeah, I yeah. You know, it's, the shock's so, gone. Now you're sounding you know? like a Texan. <laughs> I would have bleeped that, by the way, if that hadn't already been stated so publicly by so many African Americans. That has been stated. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> I still want Everybody to Everybody worries you. about it. It's yeah. a little late now. I waited out longer than seven seconds. That's that terrible. But, but uh, you know, I still... Do you think they'll have higher security for him than they would for Hillary? I don't know. I don't know. You yeah, you think, think if he's made God. it this far already, he's got to know somebody. You know? <laughs> <laughs> he's got to know somebody that would hook him up. Wow. But um, who knows? Now, I don't know. What do you all think? Uh, I don't think anything like you. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just don't say it. We do. No, you you have mentioned that off the air, haven't you? Well, uh, it's it's a scary time because there are extremists in this country that you, you know, see. I, I, I'm there's gonna, always a lone gunman out there somewhere. I'll, I'll take what yeah. will sound like the politically correct answer. Go I, ahead. I think that uh, I think any of our presidents have enough enemies that they all better be guarded yeah, no very kidding. carefully. I don't think they can let W's uh, crew take a day off. Let him go play putt putt at the meeting yeah. all by himself. I mean, I don't think W just reaches into any random bag of pretzels. I think those pretzels have been <laughs> in, individually <laughs> inspected, like a child's uh, candy at Halloween. He, I doubt he eats pretzels. Probably just all jerky. He's, yeah, you know, jerky all the time. Probably jerky down there yeah. on the farm. So now, so so uh, you are uh, I, clearly you've thought the whole political thing through. Yeah, very yeah. clearly. Yeah. Um, how are you on global warming? Yesterday there was actually a story in the evening news. That Al Gore was being mentioned again. Mm-hmm. I think he's mostly mentioned by the uh, by the conservatives just to sort of poke fun at Hillary and Barack fighting all the time. But they kind of mentioned that he could come in at the last minute if those guys beat each other up and Save maybe the be, party. be the guy. And then they were wondering whether his stance on global warming has turned him into a fringe candidate who would be too easy to attack because global warming. A lot of people don't believe in it. Huh. I don't know how you couldn't. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know. Uh, something's going. Nah, I'm sure. If uh, the way at the rate it's going, we're we're gonna be fine. At the rate Everybody's it's going, gonna we're gonna be fine. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh. Well, they say the problem is, of course, the the burning of fossil fuels, and that if we could only get off our dependence on the fossil fuels, that uh, we could f- start to fight global warming. We need alternative forms of energy. Yeah. But what these scientists and Al Gore don't understand is that the burning of fossil fuels will allow us to maximize other forms of energy. What's the one thing holding this world back from maximizing its use of solar energy? Anyone? Clouds? The ozone layer. Okay. If we could totally destroy <laughs> the ozone layer. I think you're honest. I mean, knock it out completely. That yeah. big ball of fire just comes right through. Yeah. Solar energy goes through the roof. And then we could start to combat global warming. Or how about the wind farm? Want to get your wind farm going? How about ten tornadoes and three hurricanes in five minutes? <laughs> that would generate about that? some power. Yeah, yeah. Boy, so cowardice is keeping us from. Uh, yeah, yeah. Unbelievably, I can't believe they haven't grasped this very simple, basic concept. It's yeah, like, it's nice to see you're thinking about the future and our children and our. I want to work children. with everyone. Yeah. Oh, there's no way. I want everyone to be happy. You no know, he has a kid. You no have a way. one-year-old. Yeah. Yeah. Old Junior showed up about a year ago. No ring on your finger. Do you not have a wife? Oh, yeah, I do, but I was wearing it. See what it did to my finger? It like con- So either I'm evil or the ring is. <laughs> or the institution of marriage. No, but at any rate, it was that reality it, show it idea. That got, ah! yeah. I, I was in a bar and uh, trying to take it off <laughs> like a, a couple of months ago, but I had just gotten there. The reason I was taking it off is because my fingers had gone dead, mm-hmm. and I was trying to take it off, you know, I, like... To shake out because I have arthritis. Is the relationship okay? Yeah, yeah. The wedding ring is killing your finger, but the relationship is. But yeah, Yeah. but yeah, but she's uh, she's not. But yeah, and I was shaking out my hand, and I looked down, and I noticed that my ring finger had just been twisted and contorted, and was you know trying to get away from the ring. What's what's your baby's name? Cade. C A D E. That's beautiful. Cade Patrick. Sean, a, a pleasure. Thank you, Getting sir. You. I, 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 sense, I sense there's so much more in there, too. <laughs> Come out to the show. Come out to the show.